ladies and gentlemen, what is up and welcome to today's video. We're going to be having a bit of an early look at the Spider-Man Homecoming Vulture that released last Thursday. Uh, but I was away last weekend, so we didn't manage to pick him up in the first round. But we got him in the final round. We want 1.5 million. I reckon that was more than enough. It probably went for uh, 1.3, 1.2, around that. But anyway, very, very interested to see this character. I love the look of him. I love his animations. But from what I've seen, some of the early videos, that I've been watching and post he kind of seems okay like he seems a little bit useful for some of his power control and gimping mechanics I uh, got some decent damage on the special too it doesn't look like there's any circumstance where you'd ever use the special free but he seems like an okay character and that's about it so we're gonna we're gonna have a little bit of a play around look at his abilities uh, get him all ranked up and awakened and kind of see what my my initial thoughts and what I'm you know feeling about this character but anyway let's uh, uh, let's find him in the roster and I don't really have too much tech ISO so I think for the rank up uh, once we get to that once we do the awakening let's just go ahead uh, straight off the mat and use a tech awakening gem on vulture and then for the rank up, I feel like we're we're probably going to speed this one up uh, because we need to use uh, quite a lot of like 525 and 1300 ISO. So we're going to go ahead and jump to the speed up now. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got him up to uh, rank 4. Level 40 is a four, 3 star now. A little bit of a rocky start to the rank up there, but once we... Um Got on a good track with the ISO. That went very, very quickly, which is fantastic. So we're just going to go over his abilities again. Just figure out exactly what this character does. Because it's been a, a while since I've looked at him. So his awakened ability. Uh, you start with full Chitari energy. And you absorb any incinerate debuffs applied to you. Uh, and that gives you more Chitari energy, which is awesome. And then additionally, while the opponent is incinerated, you gain a certain percentage of your power every uh, 0.5 seconds. And I think that goes up to a maximum... I think it's like... It's 1%... I think it's 1% per second when it's fully maxed out. But I'm not too sure. Right, so getting up to level 3. It might be a little bit higher than that. But I think it might be 2-something. Two, two but I'm not 100% sure on that. I need to uh, test, but I don't really have any... Um, what is it? Tech signature stones to pump into this dude right now. So his Chitari energy core, you can spend 50 energy to dash away from your opponent and then immediately back. So as far as I'm aware, that's just a, a backdraft intercept and that does a Raptor Strike. And if the Raptor Strike is blocked, then you gain a decoy buff, which means the next attack against you will uh, miss. I'm interested to see if, like, that works for, like, multiple tiered projectiles. I feel like it's only going to be the very first tier, but it would be interesting to test it against somebody like Cyclops and see if that worked or Maestro. Uh, but I doubt, I very much doubt it, but, you know, it's, it's just something that, I don't know, might be there. Uh, each time Vulture lands a critical hit, you get 5 Chitari energy. Uh, if you land your Raptor Strike, you drain 25% of your opponent's power. So that ain't too bad there, but it does take, you know, a while if you're only gaining 5 per crit to uh, build up to 50 to get that 25% drain. And then finally, while you're dodging back, you uh, evade all attacks, and also um, if you land and evade successfully, you incinerate the opponent, dealing a nice amount of energy damage over 5 seconds for this Vulture. I think it's about like 60% of his attack, so yeah, it's, it's not too bad. So we've got a permanent armor buff per point of Chitari energy. That doesn't really matter too much. Uh, the special attack one has a Symph and Charge debuff, uh, which drains 25% of all the power the opponent gains and converts that into Chitari energy. And special attack two, uh, instead of converting the power into Chitari energy, it converts the power into damage, but that only lasts 10 seconds. So very, very short uptime on that. 
The special attack free does a bit of incinerate damage and removes block proficiency, but again, that's very, very weak for an SB3. So anyway, we're going to jump into, I think, the expert proving grounds uh, before we get stuck into some jewels, just to check this dude out and kind of see how uh, this character is genuinely, generally performing. I think we'll go for the middle, just need to rotate the old Iceman out. Well, he's not very old Iceman, We've, he's, he's a pretty fresh Iceman to be fair. Right, let's uh, find, have I gone past the Vulture? Ah, yes I did, I went past him a second ago. Yeah, not really very super great synergies on the free start, only a little bit of attack with sim uh, the Stark Enhanced Spider-Man. Need to get like the four and five star versions of these characters before we can get the super hype stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's go for the middle. So we've got Superior Iron Man first to... I don't think there's anything really exceptional that Vulture brings to this matchup, but uh, we'll give it a, we'll give it a go. We'll give it a go. We'll see what happens. Oh, damn. His animations and fighting on this character, it's a little bit weird. Feels very different to any other character. I don't know, he feels initially like it's not smooth. It just feels a little bit clunky initially. Right, if I keep on attacking in, so it's 25%, I'm gambling that he won't get an SP3. Because that maybe wasn't... I don't know, I'm gonna gonna keep trying, trying to do that as we kind of progress throughout the course of it. Damn, that special 2 was some decent damage for the most part. Okay, I'm kind of getting a little bit more into this character now. Ah, not too bad, not too bad. I want to see if with the special um, one-up, I don't believe, I'm not 100% sure on this, but I don't believe your opponent can get to a special free because it's symphoning 25% of the power that they gain. But I need to double check that. We're gonna, we're gonna maybe make a mistake and check that, but we'll see what's up. It's just, it's something to test for sure. Which might be exceptionally useful when it comes to certain all or nothing characters. But I'm not too sure. Yeah, would it work on an all or nothing node with like a passive power gain? Oh man. <laughs> yeah, damage ain't too bad. I need to test out the Raptor Strike as well and just see if I can get that working. I want to see if, like. Because Batgraft Incepts, you know, they're all good for, like, players who, who've been uh, playing quite a while and you're a little bit savvy in Labyrinth. But I want to see if you can, like, parry and then, like, dash back back in again and then, like, get the uh, get the power drain that way. I wonder if that works. Right, so we're going we're gonna to parry. Oh, no. Did that get that? Yeah, that got the power drain there. So that's a bit of a, a bit of a scrub tactic for Vulture. Or if you find yourself in a tight spot and you've got some Chitauri energy to burn, you can parry, dash back, dash in, and that's going to be a 25% power drain. Like, I really like a lot of the stuff that they've tried to do with this character. I just feel like he's missing... I don't know. Maybe he's not missing a bit. I mean, to be a super amazing champion, he's missing a bit. But, I don't know. He ain't too bad. Alright, let's see if we can get that power drain. So dash. Yep, double power drain. Oh, that wasn't a double power drain because we didn't have 50 energy there. But we got the first one. Oh, if that power drain, instead of 25%, was 50%, I feel like this would make this champion like considerably better in terms of power control. I think just having like 25%, you know, for... For getting, uh, for having to get um, 50 Chitauri energy, like, it's a little bit weak. It, it doesn't feel like enough of a payoff. So I kind of like to see that increase to 50%. That'd be super dope. Alright, let's go ahead. Fly the glider in. I, I want to try and play really aggressively here, actually. Test out that old SB3 theory. See if it. Oh, no. That is wildly inconvenient. Right, still need to keep up the special one on this. Oh, we accidentally got the power drain there. Oh no, this Ant-Man, he is so willy-nilly with these SP1s. I might go into the Road to Labyrinth chapter with the All or Nothing Iron Patriot after this. But I feel like it's only... I feel like, yeah, it's only power that, um... What is it? This dude gets on hits. So yeah, if we mess up the power flood on that Iron Patriot, we might be a little bit screwed. 
But I don't know. I'll give it. I'll give it a try. There might be a strategy there. Hey, that wasn't too bad. And man got a little bit wrecked there. I feel like for a lot of fights in terms of damage, though, if you're not, you know, if you don't want to fully utilize the power control, it just seems like maybe a case of spamming the special two on Vulture. Just because that that power incinerate just seems like so incredibly good. But let's uh, let's build up for that. Or maybe, maybe this is the try where we can test out the SP3 theory. Right, I'm just going to bait a heavy attack. Yeah, just keep this dude going. Oh, I didn't mean to get the Raptor Strike there. My Chitauri energy is actually going up quite a bit. I've managed to stay in... Um Okay, push him into special free. Yeah, it was doing that thing where it was just every time I was hitting him, it was taking him a little bit under because it was given the full power and then subtracting 25% of it. So if there's an all or nothing node, like I reckon this guy like has a decent use. I mean, it's it's very rare that we see like all or nothing nodes in the game, but they, when they do come up, they are a massive pain in the ass. But I'm not too sure this dude has anything that would make him maybe like a better option the magic for a node like that i don't know but hey you know more more utility champions more options available it's always an all right thing i guess but i'll see if i can kind of replicate what we just did on the last fight a little bit more when it comes to the uh the final boss so we can have a bit of a better showcase of that but opponents, man, they're using their specials willy-nilly. Let's fire that off. Oosh. It also feels like, in terms of like the screen, I feel like Vulture's just a little bit out of it for the majority of the time. I don't know. He's a weird character in terms of his handling. I think I've picked him up pretty quick, though. So we ain't doing too bad. And we got, uh, what is it, Ultron as the final boss. I think one of the cool things about Vulture as well is that no champions, aside from Iceman, are immune to Incinerate. So we can get... A decent amount of value out of that. Yeah, and you can somewhat gimp power gain. Uh, interesting. Just trying to just trying to think about like where this champion like where where he excels. Where is his is his place within the Marvel contest of champions? Okay, so when you dash back, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's pretty common that. The Raptor Strike just triggers off, like, every... Oh, damn, we got wrecked there. Oh, no, that was so bad. Yeah, that was an empty the clip one. Oh, my gosh. We got a little bit in the bin there. Let's use a few potions to uh, get healed back up, ready for the Ultron. Oh, man, that's such a tiny mistake. We are playing so well up until that point. Ah, well, it doesn't matter too much. I'm interested to uh, give this guy like a few jewels after as well. I think that's going to be quite a fun exercise to do. Right, let's play a little bit of Vulture Smackdown with the Ultron here. What do we have to deal with? Just unblockable. We're just going to bait the special one. I think that's the plan for the majority of it. And we're going to go. We're going to go special two Smackdown. I feel like that's that's kind of what we're after. Yeah, his animations are a little bit weird. A little bit weird. Right, we're gonna go in with the SP2. Hopefully, we can bait a special one quite quick. Come on, bro. There we go. Right, that is exactly what we want. Oh no, not the evade. Come on, bro. There we go, man. Right, that threw off my game plan for just a second there. Okay, we got the thermal feedback up now. Sweet, let's go. Can we have two of these active? Oh, we can have two of these active. That is interesting. I don't know if there's like a circumstance or a phase where like having both of those active maybe could be useful because you could time it so it overlaps and that's going to be, you know, at least for 10 seconds, like a 50% power symphon. You're going to be able to chain on another SP1. Hmm. Right, 
Right, let's get this boy down. Hey, Not too bad, lads. Not too bad. Right, we're gonna go for some big jewels now. Who... Who is very... I feel like... I feel like Magic's a really, really bad matchup for Vulture. Like, you never want to use a Vulture against a Magic. Because it would just be kind of like dancing between like... You know, it would be taking her over the threshold where she gets Limbo. And then bringing her back down again. And then, you know, taking her back up. So yeah, I feel like that's a really, really bad matchup. But Juggernaut... Juggernaut will be okay. Juggernaut will be okay. What about Mordo? What about... Actually, I'm interested to see Mordo. Let's let's give Mordo a try. Right, got the two-star Star Lord in there. Let's replace that with a three-star Vulture. I feel like I might die in this matchup. Like, I still die fairly easily to uh, Mordos. So hopefully we can have a little bit of a little bit of resistance here, a little bit of oomph. And see if the Chitari debuff negates his power gain at all. Okay, so while he has power gain, I'm interested to see if we get Chitari energy. Yeah, our Chitari energy is filling up. Interesting. Right. So while we have that up, is that going to prevent him from getting to his SB3? Let's find out. Okay, so I don't know for sure <laughs> is the answer for that one, really. I mean, it kind of looked like it, but that could have just been coincidence as well. Oh, on a fight like this, I'm really starting to, um, what was it, feel the lack of damage output that we have available this character. Right, let's keep that up, and let's kind of like hammer, let's hammer home a little bit, and just try and get him towards the special free. Oh no, damn. Yeah, I wasn't paying too much attention there. We got a little bit wrecked. I still did, I want to try that matchup again, because... I feel like it while we have that up, it won't allow him to get to his SP3, but I just didn't see it definitively. Like, that's the main thing I want to test. I'm not hugely uh, concerned about winning, but I just want to see if that is like, that is a thing that happens with power game champions. Like, does that just completely, is it like a special free block? Because if that happens on stuff like Mystic Dispersion as well, I don't know, might have some interesting applications. Oh, uh, I kind of need to bait that. Yeah. Just didn't really have, like, a good opportunity there. Let's ramp up the power a little bit more. Right, here's the point, I think, where I want to start blocking a little bit more. Oh, it's hard to tell, because the Raptor Strike just keeps on, uh, keeps on taking it down for the most part. Right. Oh, no, 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 we still got the, uh, yeah, that, that didn't work. At least on the Incinerate, it doesn't prevent the SP3. Unless the power game was just filling up so quickly. Ah, it's a tough one to tell. Nah, it sh it sh that shouldn't have worked. A little bit of an odd one. I definitely need to do a bit more testing when it comes to that. Let's just do one more matchup just for a little bit of fun and try and win the next one. Uh, where's the leaderboard gone? Let's open it again. And let's try and do one just, just for a little bit of fun. Let's go for a, a bit of Gwenpool Smackdown. Why not? Take the Vulture. We're going to go special two in this. Actually, we're going to build up to a special three because I we've yet to showcase the special three yet. So that is going to be the beautiful climax of uh, of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to climax of a special three. Hey, we got that incinerate, boys. Crazy incinerate damage. Actually, that incinerate was just healing Gwenpool for a lot more damage than it was dealing. Damn it. No. 
got hit by the special one there. My magic powers of playing this game like a like somebody that kind of knows what they're doing. They've just evaporated. But now we can use the special free, so it's all good. Oh! Damn. I've only seen the special free a couple of times. It's so cool. I really, really like that. I think that's one of the best looking SP frees in the game. It's definitely a very, very savage SP free. But yeah, you just feel like you feel I think feel like you feel a lot of the wet noodleness of this champion outside of quests, because like in the quest I had a lot of uh bonus damage from like team synergies and stuff, but now we're just in the jewels on the one-on-one. -on -one. Then I'm feeling feeling like this dude's a little bit wet noodle. Ah, that wasn't too bad. I mean, this incinera this uh thermal SB2 bar four that's up, that deals quite a nice nice amount. Incinerate is healing, healing Wormful so much. Oh, it's a burden. It's a burden in this kind of matchup. Right, come on. Oh. We're gonna go for it. Assassin's Glider? Nah, not quite. There we go. Right. I quite I quite like Vulture. Like he's a he's a very very cool champion. I think he just needs I don't know, he just needs something. He needs a little a lot more oomph. His power control needs to either be a little bit stronger or his damage needs to be a little bit stronger. But the sign is just a little bit missing from this character. But overall, He's good. He's pretty. He looks pretty cool. He's got some fun animations. Like it was a little bit weird at first, but it took it took some getting used to. But I was um very much enjoying playing that character by the end of that. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, did you pick up a vulture within the last week? You enjoying the character? You got him as a four or five star? Uh, if you want any insane pro tips that we may have missed on this video, feel free to leave them in the comments below. That'd be greatly appreciated. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching. Take care and have an absolutely fantastic day.